Okay, so let me point out, so maybe I'll put a one here again. So these three numbers, one, five, ten, are exactly a normal vector. Okay. And one way that we can get this number here is by computing the value of the left-hand side at the point P0. We plug in the point P0 into the left-hand side. Okay? Any questions about that? No? Okay. By the way, I mean, of course, a plane doesn't have just one equation. It has infinitely many equations because if I take instead, say, if I multiply everything by 2, 2x plus 10y plus 20z equals minus 6 is also an equation for this plane. Okay? That's because, of course, we have normal vectors of all sizes. We can choose how big we make it. So, again, just to repeat the single most important thing here in the equation <coughs> AX plus BY plus CZ equals D, the coefficients A, B, C give us actually a normal vector to the plane. So that's why, in fact, what matters to us mostly is finding the normal vector. And in particular, if you remember last time, I explained something about how we can find normal vector to the plane if we know points in the plane. Namely, we can take the cross product of two vectors contained in the plane. Let's just do an example to see if we completely understand what's going on. So let's say that I give you the vector with components 1, 2, negative 1, and I give you the plane x plus y plus 3z equals 5. So do you think, this, do you think that this vector is parallel to the plane, perpendicular to it, neither? Okay, I'm starting to see a few votes. Okay, so I see that most of you are answering number two. This vector is perpendicular to the plane. Uh, there are some other answers too. Well, let's try to figure it out. So, let's do the example. Say so V is 1, 2, negative 1, and the plane is x plus y plus 3z equals 5. So let's just draw you know, that plane anywhere. It doesn't really matter. Let's first get a normal vector out of it. Well, to get a normal vector to the plane, what I will do is I will take the coefficients of x, y, and z. So that's 1, 1, 3. Okay, so 1, 1, 3 is perpendicular to the plane. How do we get all the other vectors that, perpendicular to the plane, that are perpendicular to the plane? Well, all the perpendicular vectors are parallel to each other. Okay, so that means that they are just obtained by maybe multiplying this guy by some number. Okay, 2, 2, 6 for example, would still be perpendicular to the plane. Uh, one half, one half, three halves is also perpendicular to the plane. But now, see, these guys are not proportional to each other. So V is not perpendicular to the plane. So, 
so it's not perpendicular. The plane. Being perpendicular to the plane is the same as being parallel to its normal vector. <coughs> now, what about testing if V is instead parallel to the plane? Well, it's parallel to the plane if it's perpendicular to N. Well, let's check that. So, let's try to see if it's perpendicular to n. Well, let's do v dot n. That's 1, 2, negative 1 dot 1, 1, 3. You get 1 plus 2 minus 3. That's 0. So, yes. So, if it's perpendicular to n, means maybe it's somewhere like that. It's actually going to be parallel to the plane. Okay. Any questions? Yes. When you plug, um, let's see. So if I plug the vector into the plane equation, so x1 plus 2 minus 3, well, the left-hand side becomes 0. So it's not a solution of a plane equation, okay? So I should say, okay, so there's two different things here. One is, the point with coordinates 1, 2, minus 1 is not in the plane. Okay, so what that tells us is that if I put my vector v at the origin, okay, then the point here is not going to be in the plane. On the other hand, you're right, the left-hand side evaluates to 0. What that means is if instead I had taken the plane x plus y plus 3z equals 0, then it would be inside. And the plane x plus y, so this one is x plus y plus 3z equals 5, x plus y plus 3z equals 0 would be a plane parallel to it, but through the origin. So that would be another way to see that the vector is parallel to the plane. If we move the plane to a parallel plane through the origin, then the endpoint of the vector is in the plane. <coughs>